Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore, whose birthday was on 8th May, composed the national anthems of India and Bangladesh and inspired that of Sri Lanka. This Bengali poet wrote just one poem in English, The Child, which I will recite from a bit later. Tagore wrote this poem in 1930 after seeing a passion play, a traditional enactment of the trial and suffering and death of Jesus Christ. It was in Oberammergau, Germany. Almost four centuries ago, when another pandemic, the plague, was raging through the world, the people of Oberammergau vowed that if they were spared, they would perform this play every 10 years, and they kept their promise. The child was influenced by this play, as well as the Indian freedom struggle and Mahatma Gandhi. As Tagore's biographer Krishna Kripalani wrote, in this beautiful prose poem, a product of biblical inspiration and Hindu imagination, the memory of Jesus anticipates Gandhi's fate. The poem is long, so I will recite just a part of it. Listen and see the images the words conjure in the mind's eye. What of the night? they ask. No answer comes. For the blind time gropes in a maze and knows not its path or purpose. The darkness in the valley stares like the dead eye sockets of a giant. The clouds like a nightmare oppress the sky and the massive shadows lie scattered like the torn limbs of the night. A lurid glow waxes and wanes on the horizon. Is it an ultimate threat from an alien star or an elemental hunger licking the sky? Things are deliriously wild. They are a noise whose grammar is a groan and words smothered out of shape and sense. They are the refuse, the rejections, the fruitless failures of life, abrupt ruins of prodigal pride. Fragments of a bridge over the oblivion of a vanished stream. The men gathered there are vague like torn pages of an epic. Groping in groups or single, their torchlight tattoos their faces in checkered lines. The women weep and wail. They cry that their children are lost in a wilderness of contrary paths with confusion at the end. There on the crest of the hill stands the man of faith amid the snow-white silence. He scans the sky for some signal of light. And when the clouds thicken and the night birds scream as they fly, he cries, Brothers, despair not, for man is great. The poem continues in this fashion, describing a hellish journey that ends with a message of hope, reflecting Tagore's ultimate belief in humanity. I do urge you to find the poem online and read it in its entirety. Happy birthday, Mr. Tagore. May your work live forever. I'm the English Nut. Bye for now. Like this content? Do subscribe, like, comment, share, tag your friends. From one English Nut to another, thank you.